Okay, and welcome to this tutorial in which I will show you how you can quickly go from this image to this image, extracting all the dynamic range and detail that's within the histogram of this image over here using a black and white conversion tool, a black and white plugin called SilverFX Pro. So we'll actually be using a black and white tool to enhance the dynamic range of a color image. We'll be using a combination of Lightroom, Photoshop and the plugin SilverFX Pro, which is part of the NIC collection. And we'll use a smart object workflow to enable us to revisit our settings later on if we'd want to. From Lightroom, we'll choose Photo, Edit In, Open as Smart Object in Photoshop. Then in Photoshop, we choose Filter, NIC Collection, Silver Effects Pro 2. In the presets, I'll scoot over to one of the presets that extracts the dynamic range in the image to a maximum. And I find I often have a good success with these two here, one of these two, Full Dynamic Harsh or Full Dynamic Smooth. In this case, I'll choose Full Dynamic Harsh. And a nice touch is that if you hit the little star icon here, you can actually add this to your favorite. So next time you want to look it up, it's right here under your favorite, so you have to scroll less. So that's the full dynamic harsh preset. If I want, I can even lower the dynamic brightness of the image slightly in order to extract more highlight detail. And you see I'm darkening my sky without darkening the rest of the image too much. So that's what dynamic brightness does. It darkens the light parts of your image more than it darkens the dark parts. So it's ideal for getting sky detail. And I also see I have a little spot here but that I can take care of later on. Then I will hit OK and now I, have, I will have converted my image to black and white. But we want color, right? So what I will do and that's why we need Photoshop or at least a tool that is capable of changing the blending mode of the layers, we will double click on this icon over here which lets us change the blending mode of this filter, of the SilverFX Pro filter. So double clicking the triangular sliders will open up the blending mode options for this smart filter and then we change the blending mode to luminosity. Luminosity will only blend the luminosity of the black and white layer with the underlying layer and will discard the grayscale conversion. So it will mix the original color with the luminosity of the black and white Silver FX Pro layer. So there you have it. You just click OK, save back to Lightroom. And in no time, we've gone from this image to this image. Now, the nice part is that you can turn this workflow. It's fully automatable. So you can turn it into an action, even turn it into a product from Lightroom's export menu. But that's for another.